Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the sort high order function. As the name suggests, it is being used to sort items or sort object. So in this tutorial, we're going to use this particular array. It has a name and age, and then we are going to use the sort high order function to sort it out alphabetically. So um, we say persons dot sort. And then the sort high order function takes a compare function. So the compare function is um, the logic that you write to compare. So over here, we are going to pass our compare function. So we could, it takes two parameters, A and then B. So what we want to do is sort it alphabetically from A to Z. So I'll say A dot name the local compare compare so I'm comparing the uh, first names to the next name so it will check and then so it give me the names alphabetically from A to Z so over here you realize Abigail comes then Alma then Eunice up to Thompson. So this particular local compare function is a very handy function that was launched in ES6. So uh, you can use it to compare um, symbols as well for countries that have um, accents and symbols on their letters and all of those things. You can use this particular local compare function to do amazing things. We can do the same thing backward from Z to A. So over here, I'll pass A and then change this to B, B. So we get the array sorted backwards from A to Z, sorry, from Z to A. Also, if let's say we have uh, an array of numbers, we could say one, one, five, two, six, and then we say a dot sort it will sort the numbers by default from the lowest to the highest also because the local compare is an ES6 function that was like it might not work in other browsers out so to lowercase so there we have it uh, so this sort this particular logic over here sort the array alphabetically from A to Z so you can do the opposite change this to A and then it will do the same thing backward so these are the two things that you can look out for so if let's say you are running a react app and then it is working in one a browser but it's not working in another browser you can use a particular second approach and then you have your code running up again but if let's say you're using a back end you can use the very first one with the local compare and it will work perfectly so thanks for watching don't forget to leave us a comment and subscribe see you next time